Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD, and these are the tips and tricks for Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires on the PS5. So, in this video, I'm just gonna show you a bunch of tricks that will work for both beginners, mid players, and the advanced players as well. So, they will help out uh, anyone who's uh, getting this game. And these are some of the things that I knew uh, like early on and late on the game. So by learning these, you will definitely get an advantage and you will learn much about the, the mechanism and you will learn so many ways where you will be able to get a lot of uh, rewards as well. So let's start with the first uh, tip in this game. So the first tip being the cross save benefits. So if you have played the game once and you want to like or you have cleared it and you got a lot of items and you want to start a new game. Don't worry, all of the items that you received previously still can be used on the new save file. So that is amazing. So the equipment, gems, horses, whatever it is. And of course, talking about the equipment, the higher the level of the equipment, the more slots you will, be ha you will have to put the gems. And of course, if you use similar uh, gems to your uh, weapon's damage, for example, flame with flame, it will make the attributes much, much better. And the compatibility wise, you can see the more you use the weapon, the higher the compatibility. Of course, having a big star, which I don't have at the bottom, means that you have the maximum compatibility, which is five stars. Then I'm gonna talk about the capture the bases. As you can see, the bases are the red squares, and this is where the soldiers usually spawn. So it's a good idea to capture those uh, first uh, to like stop the enemies uh, spawning their like, big soldiers. Because you can see here, the guy with the, uh, the cavalry, uh, I'm trying to attack them, but more will spawn. As you can see, I'm just going to fast forward. You can see how they are popping out uh, from this uh, base here, as you can see. So yeah, it's, it's a good idea like to finish off those to stop the enemy producing more uh, soldier or the base uh, captains and so on and so. Then focus on the siege towers and the rest. So that is a point that you have to look at. And by the way, it's the same for you. So if they capture yours, you will have zero production of soldiers and you will fail uh, the mission. Number three is the unsuspecting uh, soldiers. Sometimes you're walking around and the, if the enemy is not aware of you, you will see the prompt, the triangle prompt and use that to your advantage. I mean, if you see that, press it. You will do massive damage. Even if sometimes you are in battle, you'll still be able to use it. As you can see here, I'm just like uh, like fighting with a normal soldier and I'm just gonna go to the right because we have another uh, captain and the triangle will pop up. So just press the triangle and the game will automatically go and beat that uh, the guy or the captain there. So yeah, this is an important thing and you should use it for ambushes as well. So it will really, really becomes handy. Talking about the triangle, uh, you can actually, like sometimes the bosses or the captains, they will have a shield and you can actually like deplete that by pressing R1 and square, uh, but at the same time you can use your block which is L1, so use your block with the L1 and wait for their attack and when they attack you while you're blocking, the triangle prompt will come up, so press that to stun the enemies. It, this is really helpful as well and it's a good idea to dodge and not to jump jumping you will still get hit but by dodging you can still uh, you will miss it uh, jumping is only good that when you take the damage uh, it's good to jump so you will cancel the animation of the fall so as you can see here i'm just canceling the animation but the triangle thing for the dodge uh, for the block is really good and the r2 for the dodge still helps for you to not to take damage. So as you can see here, the bear is attacking me, I'm just like block, and I'm just gonna wait for him to attack me and I'm gonna press the triangle that you can see the pop-up coming up and I'll use that uh, to my advantage. I'm just gonna wait a bit, yes, it's gonna, you saw it. So this same thing is gonna come up for the other monsters as well, or the bosses as well. So this is really helpful when you are playing the game on higher uh, difficulties or the master difficulties. So, and the easies and the normal, it's, it's not that necessary, but on the higher difficulties, yes, you need that. You need that health bar, you need the less damage. So dodge, use the block if they are uh, having the shield and press the R1 and square to stun them. Uh, this is something important uh, I can see is the infantry uh, beats the cavalry, the cavalry beats the archer, the archer beats the infantry. So focus on those, look at the battle, look at what you have, uh, use the commands uh, wisely, 
uh, when you're dealing uh, with these different types of uh, soldiers. So look at all of these things. Look how the battle is going on. Uh, so you change, change accordingly. You can change your uh, military type, not the ones that you have or the soldiers that you have, but you can change your own. And also, sometimes you can even choose what type you, you can like go to battle with at the beginning of the game. Here, as you can see, I have a lot of cavalry. So cavalry is, is stronger against the archers. So I'm just trying to like find archers, which they don't have. Uh, and, I, and I saw that they have a lot of cavalry, so I'm just going to change to infantry because there are like so many cavalry there. So I changed my enemy unit into the cavalry mode, so I will have the advantage uh, in the uh, battle. So these are some of the things that you really need to uh, focus on when you are going into the battle. And also, don't worry, so if you have like a bunch uh, or a mixture, and for example, I have the archer here, if you go and partner up with the soldier by pressing the uh, top D-pad, you can accompany them, and it will change your uh, military unit type to theirs. So if I was an archer, now I'm an infantry. So if I go and fight an, uh, a cavalry now with this, uh, I'm going to be stronger. Now I changed and accompanied uh, cavalry. So if I go and fight an archer, I will have the advantage. So yeah, depending on where or who you want to fight, look at your uh, captains, go and accompany them uh, into the battle. So that is uh, something that is really, really uh, helpful. And also don't forget, you can still command your soldiers anytime in the battle. So press the, uh, the pause button, go and command them. And for example, I need these uh, cavalries to fight these archers. So I'm just sending everyone in there because I'm in the castle. So yeah, this thing is really helpful, so use it uh, all the time, uh, focus on the battle, focus uh, on the map, have a look, and use that to your advantage. And the next point is uh, the chosen officer before you go to a battle and the secret plans. As you can see, I'm looking at the, our enemy and ourselves. As you can see, we have a lot of archers on the enemy side, so infantry is a good option. But at the same time, you have to look at the strength of your soldiers and the supplies that you have and the total forces. So these things, uh, I mean like if you are a good match against them or if you're uh, good enough to fight them, all of these things. So make sure your uh, Russian are always there for the battles because you will consume a lot. And also when it comes to the secret plan, make sure you choose uh, the, depending on where, what you need. For example here, if you choose the thunder one, you're going to the evil side. Uh, so if, you're, if that is your intention, then go with it. If not, then don't, you know, like choose that. So all of these, all of these uh, matter, you know, like get a lot of Russian, make sure that you have them, uh, have a lot of money because your soldiers need that and make sure your soldiers are not exhausted and also make sure when you're choosing this, the secret plan, make sure it's according to your needs. I mean, here I'm just going to, I'm trying to be the good guy, so I'm just going to go with that and at the, at the end of it, you will see how it affects uh, the merits I get, how it uh, affects my level and all of these things. So yeah, all of these uh, matter uh, in the battle. And to how to increase them? I mean, like you can increase uh, like your soldiers uh, by being good, and also you can bribe the enemy soldiers uh, to make them weaker uh, against yours. So you don't go to a battle uh, just just you know just uh, for the sake of the battle. Just try to be strategic. So you can just bribe the enemy soldiers before you to weaken them before you go uh, into a battle with them, and make sure that you have enough rations, enough uh, money in in here, and all of your soldiers are rested, and you are not fighting with a general that is weak against the enemy uh, soldiers. So yeah, have a good, good look before uh, you uh, jump in. Every six months, the War Council gives the objectives or the kingdom's objectives. So make sure uh, these objectives are aligned with what your needs are. For example, if you're going to, uh, to be the good guy or the bad guy, or uh, I mean, is this something that you want to do? or not, maybe you have your own strategy, you can give your suggestions, but these suggestions depend or be, can be accepted depending on the, your relationship with the king. So focus uh, on those, and they will give you merit. Merit is actually the XP uh, in this game. So all of the actions that you do, uh, make sure uh, they are aligned to your uh, needs. As you can see here, this is for the good guy. We have the plus two stars. And at the same time, if I do this thing, my companionship with those two members there, which were there, uh, are going to be high. So all of these things matter. And you increasing your companionship also increases your chance of getting you know, new items. You can start your own kingdom, all of these things. So companionship matters a lot 
uh, in this game. At the same time, even the merits system uh, helps a lot. But yeah, yeah, you don't have to like follow all of these objectives. As you can see here, I'm just making my own suggestions. Uh, I'm looking at our like uh, capabilities of my army, and I'm making my own suggestions uh, on based on that, and the things that I think are possible to do within this uh, six month uh, period. So don't take it, don't be like, the, oh, I'm the awesome guy, I can do this, this, this. No, you cannot. So always look at the possible things and there are some things that will hurt you and there are some things that will benefit you. For example, some will make you or take you to the evil route, some will take you to the uh, good guy route, some will, uh, people will uh, want wars, some people don't want wars. So all of these relationships matter. Some people will leave you because uh, you're not doing anything. You know, you're just like uh, upgrading and you're happy with what you have. So yeah, and also uh, it's a good idea to interact with your uh, soldiers all the time to make them uh, happy uh, for, the, the, for the battles, uh, to make them accompany you. For example, if you want to start your own uh, kingdom or if you want to be independent, all of these. And also make sure your relationship with the king is really, really uh, good. And also you can find soldiers which are unaffiliated with your uh, kingdom. You can speak with them and you can recommend them uh, to be part of your uh, military. So do that all the time whenever you have the time. And I always choose these objectives to make my army uh, bigger and stronger before I go uh, into these uh, battles. So all of these matter a lot for me. And I think it will do uh, the same for you. Uh, the final thing that I want to talk about in this game is the grappling hook. You know that you can climb the walls. But this grappling hook option comes a bit late and it depends on how you are playing it, for example. Uh, and you can just get inside the castle, open up the door and finish the game so, so easily. But to get the grappling hook activated, all of the towers should be cleared and captured. As you can see here, uh, all of the corner of the walls all are blue. So I did that, now I can use the grappling hook and I can go and finish the, uh, the main guy or the boss and I'm gonna win the whole war. So how to get here? Uh, actually to get here is uh, we need to like kill these uh, tower guys. We can use it with the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the catapults, uh, we can capture the catapults and the catapults will kill these uh, uh, the towers. We can use archers as well uh, to capture them and it will make the, uh, the grappling hull uh, active and I can use it and I can get inside there, I can finish off uh, the whole uh, game. So I'm just going to show it to you how does it work. So for example, uh, here uh, I am starting the game, you can see everything is red and I'm capturing these catapults and they are hitting these uh, towers. So one by one uh, they are going to get uh, blue, so that means I have already captured them. As you can see here at the top, and just make sure that they don't, uh, the catapults do not get recaptured again. So when, when they are blue, I mean the area part of the wall that is blue, I can actually climb that part. So you don't need to like wait for the ram. You can just uh, do this and you can get inside, open the doors for your uh, soldiers. As you can see, the, the enemy soldiers already got back uh, the catapults. So if I don't do anything, these towers will be recaptured. As you can see, they're getting uh, red again. So yeah, make sure uh, you focus on these things. Your eyes are on the map. Otherwise, you'll be going back and forth, back and forth. And I finished off all of these spawning points, which I already talked about. So all of the bases are gone, no more enemy uh, spawns. And yeah, as that's a fast uh, win for me. Really? Right? <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, that's how it is, guys. Uh, that's how I uh, play my battles. And also, uh, like I said, uh, you can actually find an archer and you can accompany them and you can go to these uh, towers as well. Uh, they will like uh, help you all finish off these uh, uh, get the capture these towers and you will be able to jump in uh, easily and fast so you guys uh, hopefully these things uh, helped you and if they did then please uh, subscribe uh, to the channel uh, it will really help us a lot and please follow us on instagram and as always stay uh, awesome here as you can see i have uh, accompanying an archer and i'm gonna go to that uh, boss or the tower and capture it so you guys stay awesome